ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஆர் ரெக்வஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி சப்ஸ்கிரைபர் ஸோ ஹீ ஹேஸ் ஆஸ்ட் அபவுட் அ கொஸ்டின் ஹி வாண்டட் டு ரீக்ரியேட் ஆர் ஹி வாண்ட் டு கிரியேட் த ஃபாலோயிங் எக்ஸாம்பிள் யூசிங் தி பீன் ஷெல் ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸர் ஸோ ஹி வாண்டட் மீ டு ட்ரை ஆர் ஹி வாண்டட் மீ டு கிரியேட் a query parameter which should contain the test id the random numbers followed by test id and then the random number so same way he wanted to try few random numbers that has been that should be passed as part of the query parameter so now in this video we will see how to try that using the bean shell preprocessor and thanks again for asking this question and for watching the video so in case if i have not covered your requirement please to add that in the comment and i request you to add more details like whatever you want to tell me uh, you can reach out to me in my email id or you can call me in my whatsapp number so now we will see how to create this scenario and for that i'm opening the jmeter so here i have the jmeter and let me add a thread group first so i'm adding a thread group and then under the thread group i'm going to add a bean shell preprocessor because using this bean shell preprocessor i'm going to write the code to create five random numbers so for that i'm going to write as import java dot util dot random so this will import the random library and then i'm going to define the range of random numbers so this can be anything based on your requirement so i have given as 1 to 100 in case if you want to increase it to more than this digits please feel free to increase the minimum and maximum based on your requirement and the third part is i'm going to define the number of random numbers to generate so in this example i'm going to generate five random numbers so in case if you want to generate just two random numbers please change this to two and if you want to generate more than five please change it to whatever number of requirements or the number of random numbers you want to create please feel free to change it so so far we have imported the library we have got the minimum and maximum value and third we have got the number of random numbers to generate and then we are going to create the random number and here is the code to create the random number so that is random space random is equal to new random of so this will create a new random number and since we have or we wanted to create five numbers five different random numbers so i'm writing a for loop in this scenario so using this for loop i'm going to create five different random numbers so so far we have created the five different random numbers and so the next part is we are going to pass this as a query parameter and for that i'm going to add the http request because that is what is been asked in the question so he wanted to pass this as a query parameter in the http request and we will try this it in this example so i'm going to give the url so this is just a basic example so let me give it as example.com and the next part is i'm going to add the values that he wanted to try which is test underscore id followed by another underscore and i'm going to bring the value here which is the random number underscore one because that is how the naming convention is so i'm going to give the value as random number so here you can see the value will be random number underscore so that's how i have declared the value so in case if you want to change this to any format you want please feel free to change it and in this example i'm going to give it as like random number underscore one will be the expression so i have given it so first let's try with one number and then if it works we'll try to add the other numbers so let me add the view results tree to show you the values that it's generating and then let me save this project under bin i'm going to create a new folder which is bean shell pre processor and this project is going to be random number generator let me save it so now we are ready to execute the test so everything is done we have created 
the file to create the random generator id and then we have set up the http request and now let me click on the run and let's see the view results tree so the request has failed but here we can see the http view example.com test id underscore 57 this is what is being requested and let me add the other one so let me go into i'll just copy this and i'll add a comma and we'll change it to random number two again the same thing random number three and then another comma and then random number four and then finally five so now i have passed the five random numbers in the query parameters along with the test ids that is added to the script so let me just remove this backslash because this has been copied mistakenly so i have removed all these backslashes and now we are good with the value so let me try running it again and here you can see there are five test ids followed by five different random numbers so in case if you want to change this value to a completely different range so here you can try this option and let me save this just close it and then run it again and in the view results tree here you can see we have got five different values and this is how we can send the value through the query parameter so to the subscriber so here it is another question so you have not clearly mentioned whether it is a get request or a post request so if it is a get request the http request has to be get and you have you have to declare the values in the path so in case if your request is a post request so when it is a post request there is another option to pass the same value in the query parameter so what in that scenario i will do is i'll just go to the uh, http request type i'll change it to post go to the body data and i will paste these values in here and let's try running it and let's see how does it work so let me save this and now we are going to execute a post request so when i click on run the request has got passed and then here you can see the test id followed by the random number one two three and four and five so this is another way of passing the query parameter value so in fact not only through the body data you can even pass it through the parameter in case if you want to do it through parameters you have to add a parameter here and for example here i will just choose it as query parameter and under the value i'm going to just pass the values in here and let's now try this option let's now see how does it work so i'm going to the view results tree let me run it again and here you can see the values have got passed and in case if you want to really break these values so in this scenario i'm going to just add five random or other values and let me copy paste all of them to each of these parameters so let me just remove this comma and let's try this so this is really interesting and let me try to do this here three then the fourth value and then the fifth one and here i will just change this name to parameter underscore one or i can even try this as like test underscore id followed by the different test ids and here i can even remove these values so this will bring this value here so there are like always lots and lots of options when it comes with jmeter you can try multiple things and it gives you a lot of opportunities to try everything so let's try running here so here you can see test id followed by each of these values so these are some of the several options that are available using jmeter and again i would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to come up with this video thank you so much and in case if you have any queries i i believe i definitely have not covered much of your question or i may not have been completely into your completely answered your question so in case if you have any queries as i told you earlier please do reach out to me for any questions so until i meet you in another interesting video something like this it's bye bye from Vasan shanugam and little slaw